Hey guys, I'm Danielle and this is Bokara and today you are watching my October TBR game plus my rules for Spookopoly. So I decided to do this video a little bit differently. I've planned ahead, already done my research for my Read Like Graham book, just trying to do everything that I could to set myself up for success. So before we get into my roles, let's talk about the books that I was supposed to read in September. So for the study, I was supposed to read a book featuring a school, and for that one, I read Pippi Longstocking by Astrid Lindgren. I did not enjoy this as much as I did the 1988 movie version, The New Adventures of Pippi Longstocking. I gave this one two stars. And then for the dining room, I was supposed to read a book featuring family, and for that one I read From the Mixed Up Files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler by E. L. Konigsberg. This was really good. This was really good. I gave this one four stars. I also picked up The Revolver. For that one, I could read any nonfiction or classic book that I wanted. So I read Carmilla by J. Sheridan Le Fanu, and I loved Carmilla so much loved it so much. I would even look forward to a reread of that. So five stars for Carmilla. And then finally for The Lounge, I was to read a cozy book. And for that one, I chose The Cat Who Saved Books by Suzuki Natsukawa. And this was the one that I didn't originally have on my Shorty September list. I played as Colonel Mustard last month, so technically I could have eliminated this one off the final stack, but I was like, no, you know what? If I get a chance, I'm going to read it, and I am so glad that I did. I love this so much. <laughs> I gave it five stars. This book really had, for me, kind of like the Narnia vibes, where the young man was venturing through these different labyrinths and kind of facing what I call like the bosses of each one, and really instead of like kind of religion being like the undertones like as with Narnia or even Christianity this one it was like the religion was books like this is a book lover's book like on the spine here it says catnip for a variety of readers and it is definitely that in my opinion very very good so glad I read it so as you can tell regardless of what is in the case file I am not going to be penalized. Now, I don't want you to think that your viewer prompt will go to waste. I have made an executive decision that because you guys did, uh, we did have enough people say, hey, I read a book with a bird in the title or on the cover that I have that save and I am going to bring that save with me into October. <laughs> because I think I'm gonna need it. Uh, so just for fun, let's see real quick what books were in the case file. I also wanted to mention, I, as of today, I read 10 books in September. And mind you, the majority of them, all but two of them, were shorties. But still, that is a really good feeling. So we had The Cat Who Saved Books. Brilliant! We also had... From the mixed up files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler. And finally, we had Carmilla. So we did amazing. Let me give a shout out to those of you who did complete the viewer prompt. Again, that was Mrs. Peacock, a bird on the cover or in the title. Colleen read Southern Spells Sweet Tea Witches, book number two, that has a chicken on the cover. Ziggy read When the Crows Away. There's a crow in the title and on the cover. Shannon read Once in Future Witches. Again, a bird on the cover. Chris read Midnight Market by Beth McMullen. Bird on the cover. Jill read Elf Dog and Owl Head by M.T. Anderson. There is an owl on the cover. And Maid read, and Maid, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. It's either Maid or Mead. You'll have to let me know down in the comments so I can pronounce it properly in future. Uh, read Starling House, this and and the secrets of the Huan Ren, or Huan Huan. I I'm not sure. It's H U O N Ren. Okay, so six of you completed books for the viewer prompt. So there's no way we're wasting that save. And again, I feel like I'm gonna need it. So since I am playing both my TBR game and 
Spookopolithon, Spookopoly. I'm going to just let you watch my rolls. Um, so if you're not interested in seeing that, feel free to skip ahead. I'm gonna let you watch my rolls and then we're gonna talk about my TBR because I'm making one master TBR. I will see you in just a few minutes. Okay, I feel like Fitz is gonna be very helpful. I knew I was taking a chance playing on the floor. We're playing as. Dr. Orchid. Uh, Dr. Orchid, a.k.a. Arsenal, stay on her good side. Her special skill is that she can collect a weapon on the first pass and choose any book in that genre. Limit once per game. Oh, man. That's amazing. Stop it. Okay. Doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Oh man, do I pick up the revolver? No, I do not want the revolver. So, we've got the library. I should put this the right. Okay. Eleven. One, two, Three, four, five. I am picking up the dagger. Eight. I'm going to take the secret. Oh, I can only do that once. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to stay here, and I'm going to pick up this card and just let fate decide. <laughs> the billiard room. Gosh. Okay. And then, oh, and then for the viewer prompt, we will have four. Hmm. I'll take the secret passage for you guys. The viewer prompt. Oh no. Is that bad? <laughs> it's going to be the lead pipe. Okay. We're going to do our spook Oplathon rolls. I acknowledge that this is super tiny. I will try to zoom in when I edit. Um, so it, I'm going to do three rolls and then plus any doubles, which... <laughs> In my game, I just rolled two, so let's see how this goes. Uh, also, if I get the magnifying glass, it's just going to count as a number one for this. Oh, I need my playing piece. Okay. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the past space. Hmm, great. <laughs> Six again and doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy. We got a pole pick. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not ominous at all. We landed on the blood space. And then hopefully our last roll. <laughs> okay, three. One, two, three. What does that say? Pentacle. Okay, so as you can see from my rolls, I did three for my game, three for Spookopoly, and then I rolled doubles. So technically, I could have seven books total. However, I got creative. 
and here's how. So for Getting Away with Murder, I picked up the library card that's going to be a book featuring a school, which I realize is a duplicate prompt. We're going to get that off of there after this month. <laughs> I am also going to use this same book for the poll pick for Spookoplathon because I threw up a poll really quickly on my bookstagram. I'll put a picture right here. And as you can see, all of these were books featuring a school and out of, there were seven people voting, I believe Keeper of the Lost Cities wound up with 57%. So four out of the seven votes. It's, it's chunky, like... <laughs> Again, I may need that save. Uh, so this is by Shannon Messenger. So yes, and again, making that work for a book featuring a school and also poll pick for Spookoplathon. Then as you'll see, I picked up the dagger. So I did this very intentionally because as I said, I already know what my Read Like Graham book is going to be. I'm not going to reveal it right now. I really would be thankful if you would check out my Read Like Graham video when it comes out. <laughs> uh, but I do reveal the book there. But if I'm picking up the dagger, it gives you a pretty good clue that it is a mystery, thriller, or suspense. So slotting that in there. Okay, and then for the billiard room, the prompt is to read a buddy read book. I am doubling up with my Spookoplathon prompt, which was The Pentacle, the five-star prediction. For these two prompts, I will be reading Fool's Fate by Robin Hobb. I, this is the third man in the Tawny Man trilogy. I have no doubt. I have, n I don't even have a tiny little glimmer of a doubt that this is going to be anything less than five stars. I am buddy reading this with Chaz at Bookish Chaz. And again, she's she's uh she's thick she's thick so now focusing on the remainder of my spookoplathon roles i landed on past and that is to read a book that you should have already read and or a book that has been on a past tbr but this one i could not resist putting this on my tbr i'm going to be reading casket case by lauren evans and the reason I say I should have already read this, this is a NetGalley arc. The book actually came out on September 10th. You can see why I feel like I should have already read it. I'm pretty sure this is a rom-com, like a like an October themed rom-com. The girl's family like owns a casket business or something. I don't know, but I thought it sounded fantastic when I read the synopsis. So yeah, we're reading that. For Blood, it has to be a book with a red cover. I technically could have used this one for a book that has been on a past TBR, <laughs> but I'm going to use it for the red cover. It is Dark and Deepest Red by Anna Marie McLemore. How many times am I going to say that I'm going to read this book and then not read it? It ends here. If this has to be the first book I pick up this month, it is happening. This is kind of a, like, I think 12 Dancing Princesses retelling, or whichever is the one where they put on the magic shoes and they can't stop dancing. Okay, so between the two TBRs, I have five books on this TBR total. I will mention another book that I am hoping to read in October, and that is Thurston House by Danielle Steele. I could not managed to get this on there. This cover is not red, unfortunately. It's more like raspberry. Um, does not feature a school. Yeah, it didn't work for anything. But I'm hoping to read this for the very first book for my Novel Live project. I will link the video up top. Uh, yeah, so I have five books officially on my combined TBR game, TBR, and then one other book that I'm hoping to get to. So all five of these books will be going in the bucket and we'll draw just a minute before I forget your viewer prompt for October is Lead Pipe and that is going to be to read a book with water on the cover or in the title. So if at least five of you complete this prompt, complete a book for this prompt and comment down below 
you know, once you've completed it, then that will get me another save for October. I am not above using two see two saves if <laughs> if, it, if we if it comes to that. So, uh, anyway, let's draw out our three books for the case file. Going in there. There's one, two, three. I'll just make sure I still have two in there. Why does that only look like one? I probably have a duplicate. Okay, I'm putting this one back. Okay. Yeah, those were stuck together. Okay, these are going in the case file. Wish me luck. <laughs> uh, I also want to mention, I am low-key participating in the Dark Tower Readathon this month. That is hosted by Jake at Bookish Drummer and also Stacy at Chapter Conundrum. And there are various team captains that I will also mention down below. There's 19 prompts in this readathon and you have to read a different book for each prompt. However, you can also contribute um, because you get bonuses for page count. So some of these chonky books that I've got on here could be really advantageous, uh, <laughs> you know, if I get, get through them. So not saying I'm going to read 19 books, but I am saying I'm going to contribute. So definitely want to give a shout out to those guys because I think it's a super cool readathon. If you haven't heard about it, please go check it out. I'll also link the announcement video for that one down below. You guys, I hope you have a fantastic reading month in October. Tell me what you're reading. Tell me what you're reading. <laughs> I can't wait to hear and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye.